you know, this hasn't gone completely according to script, you know, four years ago, whenever we kind of entertained the idea of this game with Notre Dame. Obviously, this isn't the script that we, that we envisioned. Um, but with that said, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I really don't want this to be about me. You know, quite honestly, I switched gears uh, this morning and said maybe I would just do some interviews right after practice today. You know, I was at practice, the second half of practice, because this is all about the players, and it's all about these coaches that are going to go play in South Bend. Uh, we all know what these games are. These games are played every week. Um, we saw several last week. So th this, this is all about, all about the players. But I do have to take a minute and just thank some people. Uh, you know, first of all, Dr. Tillerson, uh, Dr. Hyden, uh, Bob Waller in our training room, uh, Sunrisa, our nurse in the training room, Craig, um, unbelievable. And, you know, I'm not being too dramatic uh, by saying they saved my life. And my family uh, will forever be appreciative. Uh, you know, I have to thank uh, UNM Hospital, uh, Dr. Sheldon, Dr. Elkovici, I, I call him Dr. Mo, um, all the nurses, uh, the professionalism, the care, the empathy, uh, I, I, think, um, I think I absolutely saw the very best of UNM, the very, very best of UNM. And I, I think we should be so grateful, I know I am, to have a hospital like that um, and the kind of care I received. And I, I will be forever grateful. Uh, I'd like to thank our players. Um, I feel bad. I almost could throw the word embarrassed out a little bit uh, that they had to see that. Um, but I appreciate them and their families, um, the way they've reached out, uh, the way they have um, shown uh, legitimate concern and care. Um, our, our players that I've coached other places, uh, it's, been, it's been humbling. It's been humbling to see um, the response, and um, um, I'm very, very appreciative of that. Uh, certainly our coaches, uh, I got great confidence in our coaches. Um, so, you know, with all that said, I really don't, I really don't want this to be about me. That's one of the reasons that uh, I'm not going to South Bend. Um, but I'm forever grateful for the response and also the first responders, you know, the ambulance. Um, it was, um, um, from what I've heard, you know, it, it was very impressive and, and I'm very, very appreciative. Um, it's kind of ironic um, going back to Notre Dame, you know, in 1995, uh, I stepped in as the interim coach after our first game of the year. I was the defensive coordinator there under Lou Holtz. And after the first game of the year, we lost to Northwestern at home. Uh, actually, we went and beat Purdue uh, the second game. And I stepped in as the interim coach at Notre Dame in 1995 for several games. And it kind of has gone full circle right now, going back to Notre Dame and uh, not being a part of that trip. Um, it is difficult not to go. You know, I was thinking the other night about uh, August 31st. 2002. Um, I did my first game at ESPN. I did a Penn State game. It was my first year not being at Notre Dame. And I remember watching Penn, uh, Notre Dame play Maryland uh, in the hotel room in State College after the game. It's one of the toughest things I ever had to do. Uh, Notre Dame won the game 22 nothing. I remember sitting there by myself in that hotel room saying, I'm not doing this again now. I'm not doing this. Um, but to have the chance to watch this game on television, watch our guys play, uh, I'm excited, excited to see it. A little bit about the game. Uh, Aaron Blackwell uh, has an ACL. He's going to have surgery uh, later this month. Uh, Brant Hughes uh, sustained a labrum injury. 
he won't play. I'm not sure what the prognosis is going to be. It's an injury he had in high school. Um, you know, whether we get it done right now, the surgery, or we rehab through the season. Um, obviously, we know what these games are about. The, these games, first and foremost, are about the money. You know, it's $1.1 million that we'll receive from playing this game. Uh, that's the reality. Um, but also, I think, if you're going to go play these games, you play them in unique venues that your players and your players' families and your coaches and your fans have the chance to experience something different. And cer certainly South Bend, Indiana, uh, their first home game of the year will be a unique experience. Um, the key for us is to improve. Uh, I said this before the season, quite honestly, that the Sam Houston game, uh, the New Mexico State game, the game after Notre Dame are more important than Notre Dame. Uh, but with that said, as good of experience as it is playing in that atmosphere, our players and our coaches have a lot of pride, have a lot of pride. And to go up there and play and play well and to represent ourselves is very important to us. So, um, you know, instead of me, I'm not going to go long. You know, Saga is going to step in here and talk a little bit more about the game. Uh, but uh, any questions you guys have, I'd be more than happy to answer. Yeah, I remember about all of it, you know, um, and, and I'm not going to get into a whole lot of details. I think you guys can understand that, and I'm sure you would appreciate that. You know, it was a serious medical situation, serious medical situation. Um, the problem has been alleviated, uh, you know, with no setbacks. Uh, I, I should expect, from what I've heard from the doctors, a full recovery, and, and there was no permanent damage. So I think the immediate, the immediate um, situation um, was very serious. But hopefully, as I said, um, you know, there's no permanent damage, and uh, I'll be able to go on and uh, live a nice, healthy life. Um, how much do the Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I expect to coach again. Uh, again, you know, none of, none of us have a crystal ball. I mean, I've never, and this is, this is, a, this is a common story. This isn't just me. I've never had high blood pressure. Uh, I've never really dealt with cholesterol. I've never taken uh, as much as an aspirin, quite honestly. Um, this came out of nowhere, but that's not uncommon. You know, you, you read about these stories all the time. But, um, you know, I'm smart enough to know uh, when I'm right and when I'm not. So I'm not going to go charging back down that hill right away until I feel 100%. And, uh, you know, with the care of the doctors, uh, the opinion of the doctors, uh, as you know, I've been married 41 years. That opinion, Joanne's opinion, goes a long way. Uh, I'm going to take this slow and I'm going to do this right. And, uh, but definitely I feel like uh, hopefully there's a lot of football left and there's a lot of good life left. Bob, so just to be clear, it was something with the heart then? Did they tell you perhaps the... Uh, uh, I think I'm going to stick just with what I said, Mark, and I'm sure you, you appreciate that. Uh, Well, I think, um, you know, let's, all of us are human. Um, you put things into perspective. But I've always done that, quite honestly, you know. Um, um, so I, I don't know that this dramatically changes the long term. Um, certainly in the short term, you know, it impacts this week, uh, maybe next week. But, you know, one thing Joanne and I talked about right away, Mark, was, Man, it's one step at a time right here. It's one step at a time. So let me leave it at that. 
Coach, you're, you're a nostalgic guy. You like to talk about stories from the past. And you just talked about how watching Notre Dame for the first time on TV. I mean, this, this has got to be hard for you to, to sit, sit at home when you it seemed like a trip to Utah State. This is Notre Dame you're talking about. It's a lot better than the alternative, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, there's a lot more football to watch. And, uh, you know, it, it's, 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 it's one game. It, it's one game in a long career. And, again, I don't want to be selfish. You know, th this, uh, this game, quite honestly, never was just about me and me coming back to Notre Dame. And I mean that quite honestly. Th there's a bigger picture in all this. You know, I don't want to be selfish. I've got tremendous confidence in our coaches, and I mean that sincerely. I don't need to be there. I don't need to be there. We, we, we have a great coaching staff. Uh, I've been involved in what's going on this week. You know, let these guys go coach and let these guys go play without any kind of other distraction because I know better than anybody what can happen in a game like this at a place like this with the circumstances that have happened. Um, so I think it's better that I stay home, I watch it on television, and like I said, it sure beats, sure beats the alternative. Excuse me one second. Still, still the last one here with Matt. Hey, Coach, what, what uh, how did uh, Saga stand out as far as why did you select him to be the guy? You know, quite honestly, I thought the, um, you know, we have three young coordinators on this staff. You know, Jordan Peterson, that's his first year as a defensive coordinator. Uh, Joe Daly just came in here. That was his first game as offensive coordinator. And then Perry Iliano. Uh, those three guys, I think, have enough on their plate uh, in preparation for just the X and O's of this game. And then, you know, Saga, Saga's a unique guy. I, I've watched Saga uh, come in here his first year here and we won nine games and we led the entire nation in rushing offense. Entire nation in rushing offense. And then I watched um, that next year, it didn't go quite as well. And then we made a change at coordinator and Saga didn't get the job. Um, I've seen him handle a lot of situations with just rock solid morals and rock solid values. Um, you know, he's got four children. His wife actually is a nursing student right now. I just like what he is and what he represents. And I think this gives us the best chance in the short term uh, to not create more distractions. All right. Anybody else? I actually had one quick one, sorry. Yeah. How involved have you been and are you going to be this week in, in game planning and that kind of thing? Not much, you know, quite honestly. Um, I've got an overview of what we're doing. Um, X and O wise completely. Uh, I've got an overview of what our personnel is, you know, what we're looking at at different positions. And quite honestly, we have a lot of competition at positions going right now. We have a lot of competition at positions. So um, involved enough that I'll be able to sit there on Saturday and kind of tell what's happening exactly and what we've called uh, and what our checks are. But I'm not going to micromanage it. You know, we, we, we have a really, really good coaching staff. All right, All right man, thank you. Thanks, Coach. Questions for Saga? Saga, you know, there's a famous lyric in the Notre Dame fight song, check down the thunder. I'm not sure with that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with that. Yeah. Check down the thunder from the sky. But what is it going to do, what do we have to do to check down the thunder What's going to be the key for us to pull off the greatest upset in Lobo football history? First class, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you know, we can't, we can't be over our heads on anything. You know, it's, we know how special it is. We know how special this game means to the university, to, uh, to the Davey family. But we can't be in too much of an awe. And I know it's a cliche, but you just got to take one play at a time. Well, we will do enough on Friday when we get there to get all the all, all out of our players, um, out of their heads, out of their minds. And then it, it gets back to, to football. It's about winning your one-on-one matchups and executing your game plan. Van with a question about world peace, perhaps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Coach, it's kind of along the lines of what you just talked about. You talked to them about the atmosphere and not to let that 
the rattle them mm-hmm. and all that? Because I mean, if you guys, are, as a staff, you've been in these games, you yeah. know, like last couple of years anyway, with Tyler yeah. Blackman. So, so what have you talked to them about? Well, we have a saying, narrow your focus. And that, that goes from everything from outside noise to social media, and then it carries on over to games, third downs, crowd, home game, away game, uh, coaches barking at you, and, and, and things like that. So we, we train them in January to kind of narrow their focus. We allow them to, to have fun as far as, hey, understand we are going to play in a, in a in historic uh, stadium and, and, and whatnot. But they also have to we have to narrow our focus. And again, that, that started with Coach Davey back in, in January when we first got there. We understand we have a lot of newcomers, um, be it they're older, but they're still new to Division One college football. So just getting them to understand, going back to our training since, when, since they arrived here in January, all the way through now, and just getting them to understand, hey, remember your training, narrow your focus on whatever you're doing, whether it's you know, taking the plane, whether it's um, uh, on the field, off the field, whatever it is. Coach, just as far as concrete goals from what you guys saw last week. What are the, are, or I should say, are there any concrete goals for Saturday based on what you guys saw last week? Uh, it's a win. It's always a win. But there's there's some things we can, you know, on offense we can improve third down. Um, we were 1-15 of last week, and we've got to definitely improve that. And then, um, and obviously on defense, get off the field and all those things. Um, so the concrete goal is ultimately to win. Um, and we've got to do some things on, on the offensive side. We've got to do some things on the defense side to, uh, to clean it up. Coach, you obviously this is not the circumstances you want to be as the head coach, mm-hmm. but you are uh, against Notre Dame. What kind of thing is creeping into your mind when you when you know you're going to go up against Notre Dame? Well, as an offensive line coach, uh, there are two defensive ends and a talented defensive front. That, that's what's creeping in my mind. Um, as far as being um, uh, in charge per se. I got a great coaching staff. We have a great coaching staff. We have great, great uh, support. Um, we're very organized to the T, and, and, and our kids are uh, mature enough to understand, okay, Coach Davey may not be with us, but he'll still be with us, and nothing changes. Um, so um, I'll be, again, O-line coach, slash I'll be making some calls and calling some timeouts. Can you back up? Sorry, Bob said that um, kind of locked right all over Well, first off, you know, with with uh, Aaron, it's a big loss for us, and you know, being the captain and um, being the emotional leader for us, um, you know, he's going to be missed. And with Brant, um, like I said, we don't know the severity of his shoulder injury. Um, heck, Brant suiting up and trying to throw the ball left-handed out there. Um, so, um, you know, emotionally, it's going to be a tough loss for us. But we're we're so deep at the D line right now, and and we can move some guys in and out of different spots, not just the, the, the defensive end and those guard spots. So we're pretty flexible in that one. And then that quarterback, um, like you said, we have three young guys that, that uh, are, gonna, are still competing to this day. And um, you know, whoever gets the start and not, we'll, we'll have um, our blessing and Coach Daly's blessing and Coach Davey's blessing. Are Brent and Aaron making the trip? Uh, I am not sure yet. I'm not sure. Coach, I didn't make it sure that everyone Coach had to say why you picked me. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, I, um, you know, it's, it, it was, uh, I was honored, uh, but quite frankly, we have a really good staff and it could have been any one of us um, in the staff. We got the hundred percent support by them and the, and the young man behind it, but I appreciate it. And, um, and, and it's a credit to coach Dave. That's who he hires. That's who he recruits. He recruits young men. Um, he hires um, coaches with, with good morals and, and, and good family men. Um, I always have butterflies. You're not a good coach, in my opinion, if you don't have butterflies on anything. So um, it's always you know, you're in this you're in this sport, you're in this game because of that feeling. Right? You can't play, so the next best thing playing is coaching. So, coach, is this the best offensive line that you've ever had going into a big game? I'm not sure. Well, we're we're still uh, you know I'll answer that in uh, in December after our bowl game. I was going to ask the same thing, Dan. Oh. It, it, it does, and, and, and it, it, it does, and it was. Um, I, I was extremely honored, and and, um, and like I said, we're we're moving on as if coach is there, um, and it was so organized through everybody, not just the coaches, the support staff. Um, it was just so organized, and everything's kind of falling in line. Um, I just 
you know, step in and, and kind of make sure everything's going in the right direction. Um, it's a pretty big game. How do you personally feel about the team having to face it so early in the season? Do you prefer to get it out of the way at the second game, or do you think it'll be better for a team to kind of get, you know, to figure things out a little bit more and face it later in the season? Anytime you get into a game like this, it's, you know, it's, you, you, you take them when you can get them. Any chance for us to play a game like, like Notre Dame or last year, like Wisconsin or two years ago, like Texas A&M, it's, it's, uh, it's a good, honor, it's a great honor to play um, against those teams, and not just for us as a team, for the university and, and the money that we get in, and we get to help out this the, the athletic budget. But um, we'll take them any which way. We'll get them first game, second game, tenth game. Uh, Coach, chemistry with kids that are 18, 20 years old yeah. can, can fluctuate pretty, pretty rapidly. But when something like this happens to your head coach, I'm curious, what's what's the theme like? You know, the, 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 the moment we found out that he was going to be okay, um, it would kind of move to, okay, we know coach is going to be fine. Let's move on to our goal. We're keeping coach in mind and, and the Davy family in mind. But, you know, we all we know, understand we have a goal. You know, we have a, a long season. And um, we just tried to move forward um, through, you know, again, class, weights, study hall, all those things, and, and kept it as normal as you can. Once we found out, coach was good. So the spirit's been good. And obviously when he – pops his head in and out and, and, and shows up, it kind of you know, um, re-energizes the, the young guys and the coaches. Henry, you Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Okay.